right guys welcome back to the channel it's lauren thank you so much for watching i hope you're doing well today i'm very colorful i'm still deciding how much i like this look like the vision i had in my head isn't quite what happened but that's sometimes what happens it takes a few tries to like really get that vision out so um anyway today i just want to talk about palettes and i want to talk about summertime palettes i have 15 eyeshadow palettes to talk about some of them are new some of them are old some of them might be discontinued i really just shot my stash looking for color stories that i felt like embodied some in one way or another. I have a lot of brighter colors in here um, and I also have a few neutral palettes. I tried to stick away from like the pastels and just like straight up rainbow and instead ones that more scream summer vibes. You know what I mean? I've like weirdly been into like wanting to try colorful blushes. I also want to do like one shadow like easy colorful looks. Like that's kind of what I tried to do today but then you know kept going naturally. That's what I do. So anyway yeah I hope this inspires you to go through your own collection see what you have. Maybe if you don't have a lot of uh, palettes. Maybe this can give you some ideas on what might be out on the market or maybe something to look into. But yeah, I think that's it. Don't mind my sunburn also. I got a little sunburned yesterday. It's good getting like sunlight and being out, but not good to burn yourself. Be careful out there. I'm gonna start with really what inspired this entire video and that is the Glam Light Ice Cream Dream Palette. Now, this is semi-pastel, but these pastels are deeper, so I find they work really well for summer too. I put this palette in my Shop My Stash and I really want to do a new shop my stash so that probably will be coming soon but I knew I wanted to at least use this once before I did that this is a huge palette tons of color in here I was just like eyeing the yellows today so that's what I used for this look but there's pinks there's like anything you'd want and like I said this can skew maybe a little pastel, but I feel like everything's punchy enough and bright enough that it also transitions so well for summer and those kind of like colorful, carefree like vibes. So I definitely think this is a summertime palette. I'm pretty sure this is still available and there are kind of a lot of repeats or similar shades that are like these copper colors, but I really like those additions. Maybe not all of them are needed. I mean, this is a huge palette. It probably could be condensed, but I do like those because this offers that colorful look if you want it, but also if you just want something kind of bronzy with a little matte in the crease, like it's perfect. Easy colorful looks, easy neutral looks as well in here. So I love this palette and I'm glad to get some use out of it. I feel like it had been a while since I'd like really busted it out. So yeah, this is my inspiration palette. Another oldie, but I really feel like does Scream Summer is the Escape Pod palette from Kaleidos. This again is quite colorful, uh, but what I really think is so fun about this is that middle row. It's all these flaky, sparkly, kind of semi-sheer shades. I remember this being one of the first palettes that I can remember getting that had that formula that I was like craving for, at least in a way that was more than like a shadow, you know? But this definitely needs to get some more love from me. It's just I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. I also feel like with these subtler shades, if you're kind of nervous to do a lot of color, these can be like easy one shadow looks, just add some mascara and they give you color. They add something different, but they're not going to be too bold. So um, that's also a way to use any of those shades. It doesn't have to be from this palette, just any of those kind of like sheer, potentially slightly duochromatic or just like flaky, colorful shades. Just try it all alone on the lid. Something very, very simple. I think that's really pretty. So this is another one that I think is really fun for summer. This one just was too cute not to include. This one's the Pineapple Cake Palette from ColourPop. It was in the Hello Kitty collection. This is just a yellow quad. I used a bit of this today and I probably could have got the eye look with this just alone or something very similar. But I mean, just the packaging alone just gets me in the mood, right? To do something fun and tropical. It's Hello Kitty with a little pineapple. It's so freaking cute. And like I said inside it, it's just like all yellows, like golden yellows and it's a very monochromatic quad but I think it's really fun and it's one that like I just can't get rid of you know like <laughs> I always hold on to it because I do think it's fun and it does inspire me to do all yellow looks which I don't do all the time but I've definitely done them before. I did pick a few neutral palettes so I'll kind of like add those in every now and then. This is a newer one the NARS Summer Unrated palette obviously I mean it has summer in the name but I really do think that this is a beautiful palette for summer. It has some of those rosy tones but it's 
skews more warm toned than something cool or even neutral because it has some oranges in here. I find every look that I do with this definitely skews again like more golden or warm than maybe even I was expecting. I think that the formula of the NARS products are just so beautiful and if you're looking for really staple neutrals this palette's great but um, I'm definitely on the lookout for more NARS palettes in the future. I'm pretty sure this is limited edition. I don't know how long it's going to stay around for but yeah this is a good one that's like more current because like I said some of these might not be available but you know you've probably bought makeup in the past that's not available either so if I still like the palette you know like personally I don't want to just get rid of it for that so hopefully it'll inspire you if anything to like bust your own out if you own that thing. More colorful palettes. I have two from Kylove. I really wanted to put in the Henri palette because I don't know something about this when I look at it, it just feels summery but still kind of moody. The terracottas in here are beautiful. It does have some of those golden colors and then there's this like pop of green that I find is just like life. Um, it definitely skews a little more, I don't want to say grungy, but this just reminds me of more like, yeah, the Italian countryside or something. Like that's where this could be done really beautifully. I always say this about the Kai Love Nine Pans, but I feel like for such small color stories, there's always something kind of interesting going on. And I think from only nine shades, you're going to get a lot of like that terracotta or kind of pinky red thing going, but you could also do other things. And I always love that they can fit something so unique, I guess, into only nine shades. I know how difficult that can be. So I've already had this in my shop, my stash already this year and I've enjoyed it. And I just think it has some really pretty summery colors in here. So that's on my list. And I also put the uh, collab palette. Now this is not eyeshadows. This is actually water activated colors. This was in collaboration with Sunshine the Bee and this is the Daydream palette. I don't know if it's from the Half Magic Beauty stuff that I bought more recently, but I, I do want to try just like a little line or just like something like simple. I'm not trying to go too intense, but I do kind of want to give this type of stuff a little bit more of a shot. I I kind of wish that I didn't go intense with my blush today. I think that's what's throwing me off. Whereas if I had had like a normal blush application or maybe just kept it pretty bronzy, I feel like it would look a little more natural or like it would really pop just the eyes. But because the cheeks, I really, I don't know, I've also been into the blush. I just need to pick one or the other unless I want to go this intense. But anyway, I feel like if I hadn't done the blush, maybe adding the purple or the blue or even the white with this look would be really pretty. Um, but yeah, I definitely, this is probably gonna go in my shop, my stash coming up because I feel like I'm finally ready to like dig into something and go a little graphic, a little more simple, but graphic, which makes it kind of elevated. I mean, I know that's been trendy for a while now. I'm just like slow, okay? I'm, I'm behind on it, <laughs> sorry. Another neutral palette, I kind of dug this out of the depths of my palette drawer, the Sigma Ambiance. This is just like, if you want golden, bronzy, tan, like, you know, those types of shades this is perfect it's giving you that like it's almost monochromatic in the way that it does it marigold is beyond stunning I mean so many of the shades in here I just think would be perfect for summer looks because they're so warm I don't know it just feels sun-kissed and golden and beautiful so I feel like I haven't given this palette the time of day because when this came out I was not as into neutrals and now I am so I am excited this summer to really really give that a go I'll probably put this in my shop my mustache too coming up that's how much I'm excited for it if you're trying to get into color but you just don't know how much you're going to use it and you want something more affordable I would suggest this NYX palette this is the brights ultimate palette from NYX and there is everything you could want you could do my eye look today with the yellow shades that are in here and just have like a shimmer that you already have at home I mean it has every color you could want it's kind of a rainbow palette but I really like the tones in here and I also think it's pretty user friendly these aren't going to be like so pigmented that you know they're kind of terrifying to work with but also they're not like lacking pigment in a way that you can't build them up or they're not usable or just kind of trashy you know so this is a really great one and I think it's a great alternative if you don't have something like maybe the sugar pill fun size palettes I mean those are kind of similar but these are almost all mattes there's a few shimmers in here but really I feel like they're going to perform as mattes yeah I definitely wanted to throw that in there because I do find it's one I just keep around because I do think it's really useful and I do like the colors 
specifically that are chosen for that rainbow palette, but also how easy it is to use and like pair with other things, especially single shadows. Next, I wanted to talk about the Lush Life palette from ColourPop. This came out last year and I just couldn't stop thinking about it, so I picked it up. I feel like this is like the sexy summer palette if you're taking a tropical vacation. I feel like it's that like vibe and mindset in a palette to me. There are some neutrals in here, so you don't have to go fully colorful. Um, even something kind of orange and warm and brown you could easily do but then it has these beautiful greens and blues in here if you want that kind of almost bird of paradise look I think it's really pretty even just this green on the inner corner when you're doing something more neutral would be beautiful you guys know I love doing that with like any type of lime green you could even punch it up with this green which is even more like in your face kind of electric so um yeah definitely the lush life palette this is one I don't know something about the configuration of these colors is just really inspiring to me and just sets a mood for sure Sure. I hate to talk your ear off about these palettes, but some newer ones. This is the Soulmate 2 palette from Odin's Eye. I think this is also perfect for summer. I don't know. There's something about this that just feels like the modern colorful palette. I don't know why when I look at it, it just feels that way. But I think this might be sold out. I'm not sure, but it's so beautiful. So perfect for summer. I've already done some summery looks with this. You can also deepen them up though. I mean, this has everything. This could work for so many times if you just like color, but I do get summery vibes. Vibes and I feel like this is the palette along with the next one these two reminded me like as much as I love neutrals and I do feel like that's more my safe space unlike my every every day I still like color I do I still get inspired by color and can appreciate a colorful look so that was this palette and the other one is the dragon fruit I know I know you know <laughs> I'm very happy with the dragon fruit palette as well I love the shadows from Cleona I love the textures these are all shimmery which I love there's lots of pink in here so you're gonna have to like pink if you were gonna pick this up but I feel like the kind of textural shades that are in here bubbles is stunning effervescent to me is stunning like those two alone I'm telling you if you're used to just like mainstream eyeshadows from like Urban Decay whatever it's gonna blow your socks off um, in terms of like the shimmers and colors that are in here I feel like I also like some of the more low-key shimmers that are in here in that they're not like super textured I think that those are beautiful too so so I'm um, very into this palette, very summery. I mean, it's dragon fruit, it's beautiful. So love that one so much. The last two neutral palettes that I have to talk about, one is the Natasha Denona Bronze. I feel like, again, the epitome of summer bronzy makeup here. That is what you're getting. If you're looking for luxe, bronze golden looks this is your palette i'm telling you right now this is your palette i have an older video on this so i'll leave that down below where i did i think four different eye looks and give you some thoughts i've probably like enjoyed this palette more as time's gone because I feel like I've just enjoyed Natasha Denona more since time's gone on but if you're looking for neutrals summer you want something that's light for daytime but you want something that can transition to a little bit sexier or deeper this has it you're gonna want to like warm tones and again bronze colors I mean it's the bronze palette and I know that some people have not liked how similar some of the shades are they are similar but for people who love neutrals it, it might not be a big deal especially if you wear these colors a lot so so I think this is like quintessential summer neutral palette. And then I was digging through my futurism palettes from a Kaleidos because I feel like these just do not get enough love from me. And I picked up the Sashimi City one. And I feel like, again, when this came out, I wasn't really, I was just like a neutral palette. But now I'm like, maybe I should bust this out because this to me, easy summer looks right here. It has this beautiful golden flaky shade as well as a more peachy pink kind of duochrome, two flakies, and then the rest are mattes. I just picture this being so so easy and go-to for summer, especially because I do tend to like something a little bit more peachy and this kind of goes that way. So I just wanted to give this a shout out and also remind myself to like use more of my futurism palettes, especially the ones from this collection. I don't know, I didn't maybe give them as much love as I, I should have. I think these are the last two palettes. I hope I haven't missed anything. This is the Lethal Cosmetics After Dark palette. I specifically bought this because I felt like it was so summery and there's something kind of retro about it. I don't know why. It reminds me of the movie Spring Breakers for some reason, I think because it almost kind of looks neon, but it also has that kind of classic lethal thing where almost everything's a little bit muted. You know, it's not quite as bright 
as you expect it almost to be. But I have not given, I haven't even given this a shot on my eyes yet. I feel like when I bought this, I wasn't wearing makeup nearly as much as I do now. And so then, you know, if you get behind, you get behind, man. So this is another one I definitely want to put to use. And I don't know, I want to make some looks with it and, and enjoy it. I also love that the lethal shadows can be popped out though, and you can rearrange them too. So there's also the potential to do that with, but just lots of fun colors in here. I think like for outer corner colors and then do something more neutral on the lid, or I don't know. I want to play around with this one. I definitely feel like I'm at a maybe a different state than I was when I bought this. So it's a little intimidating, but I definitely still think it screams summer. Okay, last, I picked one of my Huda Beauty neon palettes. I keep these around through a million declutters because I mean, look at it. Look at this palette. I only picked the orange one to go in here. I also still have the pink and purple, but man, that just to me screams tropical drinks. You are getting probably like the kind of, I don't want to say goofy, but just fun drink. Maybe it has more like fruits on it or it's in a fun cup. Like that's that's what's going on here. And every time I see this, I just can't, I can't let go, you guys. I cannot let go. That gets me so excited. Yeah, I definitely want to make some looks with this. So um, those are my summer palettes. I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed. I just wanted to talk about it. I was just inspired by summer. I'm just kind of like into more, again, like the bright pops specifically. So yeah, but I need to like refine it because this isn't quite what I, like I've mentioned a million times. Hopefully I like it more in the edit, but I've definitely been into like a pop or like the fantasy of a pop, but I need to like learn to rein it in and edit so that it truly is a pop <laughs> and that it doesn't, you know, descend into lots of other more exaggerated things. But anyway, let me know what palettes you want to use for summer. Are they new? Are they old? Are they, I don't know what might be discontinued. I think you probably could still get everything here actually. Oh, not this. Definitely not that. I guess there are some discontinued ones in here, but let me know what you're using for summer or what inspires you to like do summery makeup or has like a summary color story. Maybe it can get other people searching their collections or remembering old palettes because sometimes things just get a little forgotten, you know? But anyway, let's just get into how I created this look. If you're interested, that's going to be next. But yeah, let's get into the look. For today's look, I really want to just do like yellow, like <laughs> yellow sparkles. I'm pretty sure I want to use this palette because I put this in my Shop My Stash. I haven't used it yet and I want to do a new Shop My Stash, but I need to use this first. So I have this really golden yellow here that's very compelling. I also have like a matte yellow, so I'll probably do something with those two. There's also the quad from uh, ColourPop. I might dip into that a little bit as well. We'll just see. And then I have this neon one too and it has this really pretty yellow. So that's what I'm thinking. Um, I'm gonna just get started to prime today. I'm using a stick shadow from Sigma. This is in the shade Radiance, which is actually like a light golden color. So I thought it kind of worked as a base and I just blend that out with my finger and I bring it like all the way up pretty high. I'm starting just straight up with the yellow in here. So this is the shade Mango from the Ice Cream Dream Palette from Glam Light. And that's gonna go in my entire crease. Like I'm telling you, I want, I want yellow. And I'm bringing that the full length of my crease. So even in this inner portion, I'm definitely bringing it there and blending it out. Now that I have that yellow done, I do want to deepen the outer corner just a little bit. I'm going to first go in with this shade from the Huda Beauty palette and just kind of put that in the outer corner. This isn't deepening it up too much. I'm also going to try using this one and see what that does. I do want to add one of uh, like a brown. Let me see which one will be best. I'm really pulling into everything here. Something like this brown. It's still like yellowy. Um, this one's from Sigma, the ambiance palette. It's called Daylily. I'm going to use that in that outer corner just to add a tiny bit of depth. I'm actually going to mix it with the shade Basque. So I'm taking this one and that one. I'm just tapping that in and then I'm going to go back in with my old brush and kind of blend out. 
I don't want this to take away from the yellowness of the look, but it's definitely helping to add some depth. For the lid, I'm taking the shade Lemon from this palette, that really pretty gold. Oh, it is so pretty. So this is going everywhere. Um, and then I'm probably gonna take the shade French Vanilla and tap it on top so we get something a little lighter. Okay, so that's the look with just lemon down. I'm gonna take some of that French vanilla though and kind of like tap it over to give it a little more of like a pastel look almost. I just wanna brighten it up because it's a little too gold instead of like yellow. Okay, I'm going into the NARS palette. I'm taking this shade here for my inner corner and my brow bone. Okay, I literally got up and like changed my shirt cause I felt like it needed it. Like the look needed to be like a lot lighter. So yeah. I also got this from, it's like a single shadow pot thing. This is from Holika Holika. I don't think they make these anymore, but it is a white shimmery shade. I'm gonna use that to tap over just, I don't know, on my brow bone, I think. I just want something kind of icy, I don't know. I just wanted texture, I think. I thought that'd be fun. I'm also tapping that on my inner corner. For liner, I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury bronze. I'm gonna put some mascara on and see what other tweaking I need to do. All right, so this is where the look is at. I don't know why. I feel like I just look tired and I should look brighter. So I'm gonna add, I think, some of this mixed with probably this orange shade under my eye a little. I wanna like blend it into my blush a little. And then I am gonna add more blush too. The one I'm using is from Kaleidos. It's this pink one, very pink. Okay, I think that's it. It's a little bit more, I don't wanna say cartoonish, but it's definitely a bit more, I don't know, bold than I was expecting to go today, but it is what it is, okay. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the demo. I hope you enjoyed the video. And anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.